Good morning and welcome. So today we have a fresh install of Debian 9 as you can see here. Let's get logged in. Alright, so what we're going to do is install CDMS. First thing we're going to do is launch the terminal here. And we'll become root. And let's go ahead and just install Nginx and MariaDB to begin this. And we're going to go ahead and accept this. So once this completes, we'll be able to go into Firefox and confirm that everything's working by just going to localhost. You'll see an Nginx startup page. Alright, let's go ahead and launch the Firefox browser. And let's make sure that our Nginx is running properly. So we're just going to run on to localhost. And there we go. So there you have it. Nginx is working great. We'll go ahead and close out of this. We don't need it right now. Alright, next up is let's install PHP FPM. That's what Nginx is going to use to parse all the PHP files. Alright, let's install PHP MySQL. This package is going to enable PHP to understand how to communicate with a MySQL database. In our case, we are using MariaDB, but they communicate in the same ways. Alright, let's go ahead and install PHP Pair. We'll install PHP SQLite 3, even though we're not using it, uh, CDMS kind of defaults to it and it complains if you don't have it. So we're going to go ahead and install that anyways. And we're going to install PHP GD. And now we're going to install PHP MP string. Alright, so we're going to use pair to install the web DAV server. So now we want to install the Zen framework, which is installed a little bit differently, so we're going to have to get that from the web. Alright, so you may want to use this to pair uninstall Zen Zen just in case. I know in our event we don't have that issue, so we're going to go ahead and copy this. paste it into here <clears throat> and to paste in Linux uh, I'm not sure what what operating system you'll be using but for me it's control shift V all right and then we're going to install the package and then last but not least we're going to install the log Alright, so we're all done there. Next step is let's go ahead and grab the CDMS code. So we'll move this over here. And 
Yeah, I'm gonna download it. Get a source forge here. And we're gonna get 5.1.10, that's the latest table code. And you might as well go ahead and grab the quick start. That's gonna be the easiest one to get up and running, guys. I'm download here, I'll start. I'm gonna download, I'll start here soon. And we're gonna save the file. Alright, so back over here to the terminal. Let's go ahead to our web folder. And we'll copy the CDMS package. And let's uncompress. Alright, we'll go into the CDMS folder. And from here we need to edit a couple things in our settings XML file. So we'll go ahead and open that up. It's in your comp directory. Alright, let's get over to our web folder. And we're gonna go into our CDMS directory. Alright, so we need to edit our settings file, which is in our comp directory. Well, I don't have Vim, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. You guys might use a different editor. You can use Nano, whatever you like. Vim's my favorite, so I'm going to install that now. Alright, so let's go back in. We're going to edit our settings XML file. First thing we want to do is change it from SQLite to MySQL. Now, we're, of course, we're not using MySQL. We are using MariaDB, but they communicate in the very same way. So, next step is we need to change our paths. Those are incorrect because we're not running out of our home directory. So we're going to do front slash home. That's how we search for that. And we're going to use X to get rid of the data we don't need here. And let's type in our new path. Front slash again. Does a search again. And let's just keep going down the line, getting these updated. So that's the inner line there. We're going to do shift colon. That's going to get us into our command system. We're going to hit W for write and Q for quit. So we've updated that. Everything's all good. Uh, we need to enable PHP on the web server. So we're going to go over to Nginx, sites enabled, and we're going to edit our default site. So first thing we need to do is add index.php as an index. Otherwise, it's not even going to recognize it. So we'll go down here, we're going to hit I for insert, and type index.php. Now index.php is an index file, however it still does not know how to interpret this file. So we're going to go down one more line, search for PHP, and there we go, we're going to enable location, and we're going to use socks, and don't forget this last one right here, if you forget that it's not going to run at all. So again, shift colon, W for write. Q for quit, and we're out. So what we want to do is test this. Nginx makes this very easy. All you have to do is Nginx minus T, and it looks like everything's right. So we're going to reload Nginx, and that should enable our PHP. All right, so from here, let's go back to our web folder, and we're going to make a little test file. So we're going to vim test.php, and let's just do a little PHP code here. This will let us know what PHP modules are installed. So we're, again, we're going to do Shift W Q, and let's go to our local host front slash test.php. All right, guys. So now we have PHP version 
and it's working. That's great. So the next step is, let's go to our CDMS installation. Alright, everything's looking great there as well. Um, there's a couple more steps before we want to continue. So we're going to go ahead and do the touch, which enables the install tool. So from here, let's go back into our CDMS directory. And we'll touch the enable install tool. Now, before you get to the next step, uh, with CDMS, the install does not create the database for you. So we're going to do that by hand. So let's get into MariaDB. And we'll create a database. And we'll call it CDMS, of course. Now, we need a user for that database. If we don't have a user, we cannot access it. So, I'm going to create a user for the CDMS database. And what we're doing right here, this gives full permissions to the CDMS database to the user we're going to be adding. We're going to go ahead and make the user CDMS, just to simplify things. And we're going to do it for localhost. So the user is only allowed to log in from the localhost. And we're going to set a password, which is just password. You guys should use a secure password for this, of course. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to use password. All right, so now we have our account set up. We can jump out of MurrayDB. We don't need that any longer. And let's start the installation. So everything here is set. Only thing we need to do is come down to database. We're going to highlight that, get rid of that, and make this CDMS. And then the password, get rid of that. We're going to make that password. Make sure you check create database tables. All right? Apply. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get rid of the install tool. And we're ready to log in. So now you can customize things if you want to make it look cool, you know. Our cool DMS. And it's that easy to customize it, okay? So from this point, as you can see, look at this super long URL. We don't want that, right? So we're going to go ahead and log out, and we need to edit our settings file once more, and we're going to look for HTTP root. Okay, once we find that, we're going to get rid of all of this stuff that we don't need here. Then, we need to go to our Nginx and tell it that we just want to go directly into our CDMS install. We don't need anything else, guys. So we're going to look for the root on here as well. And we're going to put our full path. And let's just run a test again, just to make sure we haven't messed anything up. Looks good. We're going to go ahead and restart. And let's go ahead and get rid of this here. We don't need this anymore. There you go. So we can log back in. And once you set up your DNS, you won't have to type anything besides your domain. So that's how you do the install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we appreciate you coming by. See ya.